Good morning, everybody. This is Christy from the Visa Light YouTube channel. I thank you so much for stopping by, and as always, I send you love. Um, I just want to kind of go through some sensations that I have been experiencing um, the past few days. Um, I have woken up um, a few days ago with a tightness in my right hip, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, we have the Ida and Pingala Nadis. These are the Nadis that spiral through us like the infinity sign that never ends. It comes, it goes from our, our feet all the way up to our crown. It goes from the earth into the heavens. When these are in balance, they rotate in that spiral, that figure eight, and it continuously moves. This is the natural flow of our life. And as I am talking about this, I am getting a great confirmation from self, from source, from all that is, that this is what I'm supposed to be talking about today. My entire lower limbs are tingling, tingling, tingling with these pins and needles. Um, and so, um, something I also, well, let me, let me continue. So I, I've been feeling the, the coolness part of it, and it's been more so on my right side, but it's stemming from the left, where it's moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The, um, I hope I have this right, the, it's stemming from the right side. It, it is the feminine, the feminine energy is the cooling. The masculine is the, um, the burning. Now let me, I have to think here again, I might have just said that cor incorrectly one more time. So the left brain works the right side of you. Okay, so I said it correctly the first time. It is the, it is still the feminine energy. Um, no, it is, the, the, see, sometimes this, you have to work things out here. Um, <laughs> Okay, so the left brain works your right side of the body. The right brain works the left side of your body. And so anyway, both of these energies are merging together now. This is what I talked about in another video um, about the twin flames uniting. Um, not only do we have a twin flame that will appear or can appear or is wherever it is that you are in your life, uh, in our existence as our soulmate, twin flame, significant other, whatever it is that you resonate with, we have the twin flame energies um, that flow through in us. So we will have that burning sensation that is really associated with the Kundalini, the rising of the heat, which is trying to purify us. The heat is necessary to bring purification. Um, throughout history, people have used fire, especially after um, all of the crops at the end of the season were done and dealt with and they had to um, replow the fields. They would burn the field to purify it of everything that was left from this season so that when the next season came, it was a clean slate. And that's what the Holy Spirit does within us. First, it begins with purifying every single thing. And we will always have that heat, heat, intense burning that comes from the inside. And we'll finally get to a point that cooling takes place. Now, I experienced tons and tons and tons of burning for a good portion of my awareness of my awakening process. 
it's probably been about the six month period here where that subsided to where I wasn't going insane from the intense heat to now I am really cold for the most part um, but I will fluctuate back and forth between feeling that internal burn like right now I am actually feeling an internal burn more so in the center of my being the heat is rising through here but also I feel that coolness that's also rotating as well um, when these nadis begin to spiral correctly, creating that natural flow, it looks and rotates just like our helix, the helix of our DNA. Energy outside of us, creation outside of us is contained within us. You realize that this universe is actually you inside create it makes you who you are the buildup of who you are this form of who you are everything from yourselves everything your blood your DNA all of that your bones your the chakras everything is a reflection of the universe within the spirit is a reflection the entire universe and source within and you begin to be united um, and so I like I said I had that cool tingling feel it's, it's kind of a cool burn it's so strange a cool burn I guess the type when you put your hand on something in the freezer that's very cold you burn a little bit um, but it's not like hot hot coals um, and it's freeing up something. I haven't really f had this type of sensation. Uh, maybe a few times throughout my process, but this is really working. I can feel that something is really being purged from me here. And it probably, I'm assuming it has to do with uh, still my childhood trauma. You know, we are still now because we're at this other phase of the moon in certain aspects the moon in other um, astrological signs that we are still healing our inner child again uh, remember that the cycle comes around it will always be repeated um, and give us a chance to come back to that point especially if it's been lingering and create that healing process that's why we'll always come back and we're like well I thought I did this I thought I did this already no the cycle is repeated because the earth moves the planets rotate the signs move as well and we have to come back and still heal and we'll, well I, I think I hope we get to a point where there's just no more healing that has to be um, shed I am not there apparently I, I know that um, as a result of what I have been feeling here again lately all month long really and um, but the good news is is that when we heal we let more love in when we allow more love into our hearts into who we are our light shines more when our light shines more we are more capable of healing others that is what the true meaning of healing is or being a great healer or even a great creator whatever it is you are that beacon it's not hey telling somebody you got this 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 and this wrong that's not healing anybody that's placing your views on them that's bickering and um, being judgmental honestly healing comes from your light your source and it'll be a natural flow yes there will become convert you will have conversations where people where you have a chance to help heal people but for the most part a lot of people think that healing means that 
okay, I am perfect the way that I am, and you are here, and I'm going to correct you because you are the problem, not me. Whenever you fix yourself, I will be fine. That's not healing somebody. Um, and so something that came into my awareness uh, that I meant to put into my other videos before is that the infinity sign as well, not only does it go vertically within us, like our helix, and um, it moves up from the earth to the heavens, it goes horizontally from side to side. And it also rotates in both directions where it meets our um, chakras. It does its little cleansing in that area and purging in that area. Um, so it'll go horizontally for cleansing and rotating. And it will also go um, um, well, I forget what I just said. So, you know, the opposite direction. Um, um, and uh, so that's where we are. Because remember in my other video, I said whenever this orb in my right eye becomes centered, we will have this balance. We will, ha we will receive and complete this process of kind of remembering and knowing. And for many of us, we will receive our higher self. Well, it's not in my center vision yet. Um, but that's also the way um, the infinity sign goes from left side to right side. Um, and instead of up and down, so I hope I said that correctly throughout this video. Um, it will go from the heavens to the earth and vice versa, going up and down continuously, creating that flow. And also, or I should have said north and south, and then also rotating or cleansing us from east to west. That's the way I should have actually said it. So please forgive me. Um, And it, again, goes through the centers of every chakra. The seven chakras has the infinity sign in every single one and creates that natural flow and balance. And all of this um, is still allowing our Merkaba to function. And we are just still at the beginning part of creating that Merkaba to the point of it functioning for us. When it is functioning for us, uh, we are manifesting at a higher rate. That's one of the things anyway. We create the reality that we want. But truly in order to create the reality that we want, and this is what a lot of people who speak about laws of attraction leave out, your chakras must be in complete balance. The Ida and the um, um, the Pingala must, your Nadis must be in balance and creating that natural flow. That infinity must always be flowing and rotating and having that cycle. If there is a block, whether north and south or east and west, there's going to be a block or a restriction and what you are manifesting. So that's why I have always said, if you want to manifest the life you want, the greatest thing you can do is heal. Don't sit there and say, I wish I was a I had a million dollars or I wish I had my, you know, um, twin flame. It ain't going to happen because you have limitations within you. And that's why for myself, I don't have my higher self yet. If you are not your higher self and don't know your purpose yet, it's because we haven't done our cleansing yet all the way. We haven't finished purging. We haven't finished uh, balancing and trusting in this process yet. There's more and more. Um, but a lot of us are really getting close. Per this orb in my eye, it is 
not quite at the center, but it's touching the bridge of my nose from, you know, the, the greatest part of um, the infinity sign. Um, and so remember this, the nadis also float and rotate with the sun and the moon and the night and the day. Um, so the moon will have you feeling the cooling effects, the cool burn, and the sun will have you feeling the effects of the, um, the intense heat. But of course, when you are in your early phases of purging in the Kundalini rising, that burn, burn, internal burn will be present regardless of what is taking place. Um, and so I, I hope this kind of helps. I, I felt the need to mention this. Um, and you know, it, it takes me back to the Bible where it says the rivers of flowing water. Um, and it's all about our internal pathways. And uh, when you are seeing internal pathways or when you are seeing water in your dreams, it's actually telling you about one, your emotions. And of course your emotions are connected to the type of flow of life that you have within. So if your emotions are all over the place, the nadis aren't functioning properly. There's a blockage. Every negative emotion, every limit and fear lacking that we hold on to prevents the natural flow. Trauma, and not just our own trauma, but our deep, embedded, rooted, ancestral trauma affects us too. And that's why, again, when you don't become a part of what the world is experiencing, especially throughout this time, you heal the Earth's wounds, the planet's wounds, the people's wounds. And you'll feel it because you yourself are going through it for them. You are going through it for them. The tears that I have been crying lately are the healing tears of the world. And I ask for you to heal the world too by allowing your tears to flow and not becoming a part, not influencing the pain that they are already enduring. Don't spread what they are spreading. Stop it when it touches you and let it go. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.